Have you heard the news? Uh, maybe not. Well, this has been percolating over the last the number of hours here. We've learned the Denver Broncos have decided who they want to hire as their new head coach. Who's going to bring the heaven dust down to Denver? Well, that would appear to be, if you believe the reporting, the New Orleans Saints coach, Sean Payton. If he wants the job, the job is his, and that's the way it's being bounced around the echo chamber, as we understand it. Russell Wilson has, as we talked about in a previous episode of the show, informed the Walmart ownership that he would like Sean Payton as his coach, our colleague Colin Cowherd, uh, among others, saying that it's now in Sean Payton's court. The ball is in his court if he would like to coach in Colorado. And we have heard radio silence on this throughout the day since that initial report. So let us discuss the question. Where do you see this Sean Payton story going? So I've got DC Comics steering wheel, and sandbox. And we will connect all of these together, and we are going to play Connect 3. And not Connect 4, Connect 3, and I'm going to win. All right, now, first of all, by the sound of things, Sean Payton is certainly not a smitten kitten with the Denver Broncos. I think you don't have to be Jay Glazer or Adam Schefter to know that is the case. Uh, You just have to have some common sense here. This report being floated out does not pass the smell test. No, it doesn't smell right. It's possible that Sean Payton ends up in Colorado, but I would not say probable at this point in time based on the data or data that we have. Nevertheless, we can't help but think that this story is right out of DC Comics, that Sean Payton is using his personal bat signal from Manhattan Beach in Southern California that this is a specially modified searchlight with a stylized emblem, Sean Payton's own personal emblem, on the light, and he's projecting a large symbol up to the heavens there into the cloudy night sky over NFL Gotham. And the the signal is then being used by Sean Payton as a method to summon Another NFL owner. Could it be Jerry Jones or some other team that is considering flipping coaches that has yet to fire coaches? But you could certainly say, hey, hey, Jerry, if you don't act fast, the Broncos are going to hire me. They want me. The Broncos want me. You could totally see that. All right, now, secondly, who do you think leaked this story to the media? So a lot of tongues are wagging on this one, and it's rather simplistic on this side of the microphone, that that this latest ripple as we try to find coaching carousel glory is 100% the creation of Sean Payton and his posse, that Sean Payton's got loose lips, and he's letting it rip. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It is cut and dry. You ask the two Standard questions, who stands to gain from the leak and why leak now? The answer to both of those burning questions is SP, as in Sean Payton. His DNA is all over the crime scene. It's open sesame is what it is. Open sesame, I would like either more money or a different job. That somebody in the inner circle with Sean Payton, maybe it came from the horse's mouth, is letting other teams, as we said, like the Cowboys, know that if they want him, they got to step up. They got to up the ante that he's the one behind the steering wheel. He's the guy at the steering wheel, Sean Payton, driving the narrative bus. And it's not the Broncos, right? And we know this from, from years and years of gas baggery that the team does not leak does not leak the story unless they have the coach. Like, like Denver has also let out to their useful idiots in the media, their messenger pigeons that are toadies for the Broncos, that this report is either premature or it's inaccurate. Teams don't leak coaching hires unless it is locked in concrete. It is outlawed. It is verboten. If Sean Payton does not end up in Denver, they would look like complete fools. 
if that was the case, right? So you don't leak that information. You don't tell tales out of school because that would not go over well. So this is obviously coming from uh, Sean Payton's side of things. All right, final thought. So how do you dissect the Bronco job? I It is, the word is sloppy. It's sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. It's disheveled. Now, we assumed the position when Uncle Vic was coaching the Broncos prior to last year that they had a lot of talent, and that was an underachieving team. But the talent was there. The talent was in on the Bronco roster. And now you look at the Broncos through a different lens, and you're like, that talent inflated, inflated talent. And some of those guys that we were hyping up are no longer even part of the Broncos. Bradley Chubb, for example, unloaded. But what looked like a roster that was just bursting from the seams, uh, seams rather, with blue chip talent and all that, so packed uh, like sardines. Uh, and now you're like, eh, eh, I don't know about that. I mean, that team took a major nosedive, and you've got Russell Wilson, Mr. Unlimited, Mr. Unlimited, who is very limited, very <laughs> limited when he played last season and looked like he should be doing something else for a living. The kid in the sandbox, Russell Wilson, Go that Hawks. wants everyone. Go Hawks. That's right. Well, no, it's Broncos now. But he wants everyone to like him, but he doesn't play well with others, right? And how many guys from Seattle have taken shots at Russell Wilson? And there have been people inside the inner circle with the Broncos who loathe Russell Wilson. He's obtuse to the noise, right? He's, he's all about me guy. All about me. He's an all about me guy, which you could put up with. Right? There's a lot of quarterbacks that are like that, but if you're good, that's fine. Guess what? Yeah, you know, yeah, he's washed, right? I mean, it, 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 the play is like rancid dog food is what it is. And Russ, with that contract, and I am a salary cap truther. I am. But there are certain things which are very hard to overcome. Even with that, the struggle is real. And that that contract, which should not have been given out, that is complete negligence by the Broncos front office to give Russell Wilson that contract, what are they thinking? Seriously. I mean, man, I mean, they were they were so excited. They got their quarterback, and they, they let the guy play a little bit before you give him the contract. Anyway, uh, Russell Wilson is radioactive is what he is. And if you're Sean Payton, and this is the job, it's either that or, say, the Cardinals' job, and he's going to talk to the Cardinals again, allegedly, then you run for the hills, right? Because... Russell Wilson alone makes that gig unappealing. But wait, there's more. You're also in that division with Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs where it is Mahomes' birth right now to at least the be in the, of the AFC. Raiders. Well, forget about that. But you're at least in the in the same division where Mahomes' its birthright is to be in the AFC title game. So based on the landscape, you look out on the Serengeti of the NFL and – I'm telling you, my, my, my instinct is if Sean Payton's waiting for the perfect job, th- this ain't it. The Bronco job's not it. He ain't going to go to Carolina. Why would he go to Houston? You stay at Fox unless the Cowboys call. If that's the job that you want. You want to go to Dallas. Or if you're, again, trying to finagle your way to some other team that has yet to fire their head coach, uh, but you're only the bell of the ball one time. And it, Sean Payton goes to Denver and ends up winning seven games and losing 10 games every year. You could get another coaching job, but it's not going to be the same. It's not going to be like you're seen as the Messiah, the Savior, the great hope for, for, your, for some woe beyond franchise. And all that. So why not stay in television for another year? Because every year, five to eight coaches on average lose their job in the NFL. And so there'll be another round of coaches that lose their job next season. And if Mike McCarthy survives this in Dallas right now, if the Cowboys do what the Cowboys always do and lose before they get to the championship round next year, then again, uh, the uh, Cowboys will be in the crosshairs. So that's the that's the story. 